Good evening again. It is always a privilege to join where we can discuss matters that affects him. And this evening for our youth roundtable talk, we are going to discuss wisdom too. And Rene will say the rest as I hand over to you, Dr. Joy Reborn. Okay, great. So welcome everyone to our round table. And indeed, well, I don't know what shape table you have in front of you, but um, it is in an open discussion where we will be looking at today, the wisdom to give. And giving is, you know, something that we're admonished to do by Jesus. He says that it is better to give than it is to receive. Yes. And that I think there is um, a song that says that in giving to others, we ourselves, in ministering to others, we ourselves are ministered to. Mm -hmm. And so, um, Sister White would have mentioned also in one of her writings that, and even yesterday yes, uh, um, in our Let's Consider Him, Auntie Pelo, we were um, looking at Second Corinthians 4 verse 6, which says that God who has shone the light out of darkness has shone this light into our hearts to give mm -hmm. the knowledge of the the glory of, of, of God in the face of Jesus Christ to others. So as Christians, we always have something to give. We always are in a position, no matter how you know poor we might think we are or how um, whatever our needs might be, there's always something that we are able to, to give, something to impart. And Do you know, Rene, I, sure. you know that most of the times when people think about giving, all they think about is money. And I'm not sure how we here or even um, our pastors or whoever can really tell our members and the wider society at large that giving is not only about money, you know? Exactly, it can exactly. People smile and it can go such a long way. Yes, definitely. I was even reading um, this chapter here on In Christ Object Lessons, one of my favorite books now. It's definitely going down as one of my favorite books. In the chapter entitled Talent, um sister white would have listed quite a few talents quite a few um various talents one so of them Renee, before, you, before you go into that can we can we list some of the things or say some of the things that, that we, we can, can give? give that is not attached to anything like some of the things we can give well we can give our time which is also a talent right right we can give our service which is also whatever it is that so, so if you remember the the parable of the, the the persons who got the ten talents the parable of the ten talents yes and some persons got five some got i think two wow. some got one yeah. and so on and so forth um the one who got one buried it you know mm. and some of us have a one talent i would feel like oh god can't use that to do anything so you might be able to cook you know, you might be a really good cook and that's the only thing you can do. And you look on, you look on and you say, well, I'm not good like brother so-and-so who can preach. Yeah. How am I going to, how am I going to serve God, you know? Um, but we shouldn't look at that. We should look at how it is that we're able to um, use what we've been given. Some persons are able to are, have a green thumb. They're able to guard, you know, and they can make things that are half dead grow you know yeah. there are some persons who really have a knack for certain um, aspects and certain things and so God doesn't require uniformity he requires unity of his birth of, of people unity in diversity in diversity so as we with all our diverse skills and our diverse um, talent come together you know we all make sense and we all contribute to the synergy of um, what is what is required or what needs to be done in the body of Christ. Right. You know, so Rene, I can't really um, tell you exactly what ahead. exactly a person can give because okay. yes. you know God has blessed persons in so many different ways. Singing, yes. we know we know about the, the, the conventional one, the singing and the preaching and the mm. so on and so forth. But there are others, there are many, many other ways that persons can um, even what you're doing, Auntie Pillow, 
you know, the 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 talent of influence. You know, you're using um, you know connect your connections to bring people together. That in in and of itself is you know it's a gift is a talent and so by improving on that you are able to develop or even develop other talents mm -hmm. as you use maybe the one talent you might think you know or the two talents or so, but as you use what god has given you what god has put in your hand yeah he will multiply it and and give you a blessing because even in church um sometimes as leaders you know they have to force people to do stuff in church um, even though they have this big talent that is so obvious or a big <laughs> thing that they can give that is so obvious, um, you know, sometimes we have to force people to really give even just a little time out of their day to contribute to a service or contribute to something in church. So giving is really like you have to have the, the impression of the Holy Spirit in your heart to really give and give and give, you know, without limits. Some persons need encouragement, you know, because some persons you, you might you might look and say, well, this person has so much, but they, but they probably don't even see that they can they have, you know, what what might seem obvious to you, because you might have that gift of discernment where you're able to see, you know, different things. So as we work together, you know, we're able to um, encourage one another and press the business of God on. Yeah, and there's this song, you know, in our past time, the song it says, "Give up your best to the master, yes. give up the strength yes, of yes, your yes. youth." You know, and it's not mm -hmm. only young people that has the problem of giving. You know, we have some older folks too that might have and can give, but still, still hold on. I know people. Um, I know people that they just give what they don't want. They sometimes give what they don't want, so it doesn't really have much meaning. You know. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, it, it doesn't cost them anything, and so yes. um, it, it's well that it, it that is a consideration. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but giving has no limit when it comes to God and His church and His service. Giving has no limit. The limit is only on us, really. Definitely, and I mean, you know, God really looks. I remember the story of the woman and and her mites and. You know, the, the Pharisees were probably looking on and saying, you know, don't know what that she carry, you know, what that she, what that she give, you know, look at my one million dollar. They were probably popping their gun and saying, you know, look at my one million dollar. But the Lord saw the sacrifice. He saw um, the intent of her heart and that she really wanted to serve and to contribute. Right building up of his kingdom and to, to, to him and to God that was more valuable than one million dollars or whatever that the, the Pharisees had had um that were given. As a matter of fact, I don't I think even he said that he wasn't it wasn't a situation where they were giving any big mm. I think they were tithing of like pl their plants, mint and some small things right. compared to what God had blessed them with. Mm -hmm. They were tithing of some, you know, some small matters. And so, um, you know, he looked at her might and said, you know, she has given way more than what, what the others who had she won. gave from her heart, right? From her heart. Because she gave from her heart. Welcome, Sister Georgette. <laughs> yeah, God, God gave us so much. He gave his life for us. And yes. sometimes we just have to look at that. And then after we see that, then we just we just give. And and even if it is one thing we can give, just give it from our hearts. You know, it goes a very far way. And that is why the song says, "Little is much when God is in it," because it's not man we're doing it for; we're doing it unto God. Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah. And I think it's in the book Steps to Christ that um, it was said that it was said that if nature nature in its the only thing that lives to itself is is um is man so everything in nature gets to give yes, yeah. the rivers flow into one another to give it to another section the plants they get the sunlight and the water to give mm -hmm. you know and so as we are poured into right. you know we can as we are poured into uh, as we as the holy spirit pours into us we are able to pour into others Yes. Uh, the blessing that we have received from God. 
Yeah. And so, you know, let us not hold back, mm-hmm. but let us give freely the light that God has poured and shed into our hearts okay. um, to each other. Yeah. So wisdom to give. So we're looking at wisdom to give our time, talent, resources, and yes. what influence. Other influence. Yes. Service. Service. Money. Yes. Um, what else is there? Yeah. There are so many things we yes. can give. Yeah. Mental faculties or health mm-hmm. is one of them that she mentions in, step, in Christ Object Lessons. Speech is another one, is another talent right. that we're expected to develop on and to 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 use to the betterment of um, of others. Mm-hmm. Or strength, mm-hmm. strength of our youth. You're right. <laughs> I can exit myself out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord calls upon us because we are strong. Yes, yes, yes. God is good. There's one also called. Kindly impulses and affections. What's that? Kindly impulses and affections. So that would be um, a quick appreciation for spiritual things and precious talents. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you might be able to see that, you know, this person is gifted in doing a particular thing, but they don't realize it. Mm. And so, you know, because you are able to see see that you have that spirit of discernment then mm-hmm. because you're able to see you have a responsibility in kind of nurturing and even nudging the person and helping the person to see that hey you know mm-hmm. you have this thing yeah. um, and so let's come together and do a particular thing right yeah. <laughs> right right that spirit of kindly affection kindly impulses and affections but how can how can giving how can how can we ask God for the wisdom to give to benefit the church and benefit humanity? How can we um, do that? How, what are some of the ways we can benefit humanity in giving and benefit in the church in giving? I know for one, when we do when we return our time, it helps to spread the word. Um, singing, it helps to bless somebody's heart, you know, who come maybe for worship. Preaching, it, it helps to admonish the brethren and stuff. But what are some of the other ways we can give um, to the church and to humanity to make life a better place or to follow God's commands? Well, I mean, I think the major thing is to have compassion. Like the, like the, um, like the good Samaritan who did not pass by his, his brother when he mm-hmm. saw that he was suffering. Yeah. He had compassion on him. He didn't turn his eyes from, from him. He had compassion on him as a human being, saying, well, um, you know, if I was lying there uh, half dead, I would want somebody to, mm-hmm. as we say in Jamaica, turn the black of their eye and look at me. Mm-hmm. You know, and so he did more for, for that man than just looking at him. He actually mm-hmm. um, helped him up and he cleaned him up, brought him to, a, to an inn, spent his own money on him mm-hmm. in order to get him well and promise that if there is anything else that is needed, he would, um, he would, he would give it. And so he, he didn't give sparingly to this Jew who at the time, they, of course, we know that the relationship was... Um, tenuous between the, the Jews and the Samaritans. Mm. So, I think I think it starts with the heart, and um, we have to have a heart of compassion. And that heart is not something that we naturally have. It has yeah. to be given to us by um, by the Redeemer. We have is is a you know God would have had to put that in us because we're naturally selfish. We're naturally um, uh, you know. We're naturally self-centered and so on and so. Yeah. Um, it, it is a converted heart that that seeks to to help and to give to others. So in that story, we can basically see that giving had no limit in that time for the Good Samaritan. Giving had no limit, and so that is a good and wonderful example for us here to to follow and to 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 do our best to enhance the kingdom of God. You know. To give 
All right. Any other examples? Can we think about any other examples of um, giving? Well, I can look at Joseph and his brother. Joseph toward his brothers, even though they wronged him, he did not look at that. Oh, he wow. still gave, you know. Yeah. He gave. Wow, he did. A heart of love. He gave from a heart of love. And compassion too. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness is a nice thing to give, you know. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Yeah, when you give someone forgiveness, it makes it makes it feel like the world is better. Oh well, yes, definitely. I mean I think even forgiveness is a gift that you give not only to others but to yourself because mm -hmm. they say, you know, it, it frees you of that 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 bondage so they say it's, it's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die mm -hmm. you know so um by forgiving others stem to with without limits i again yes. without limits um we we free ourselves um from the bondage of bitterness yeah yes. hatred and of this downward spiral mm -hmm. and so um if there are no other contributions, if there are no. Lizarini, Lizarini, if we forgive, or oh, some of us, high blood pressure will be lower. Be lower. You Chow know, when Chow. we hold up people in our heart, and when we don't forgive, it hurts us more than them, you know, because sometimes they don't even know that we have them up. So, a part of giving, not only money or your time or your talent or your resources, but forgiveness is. To me, one of the greatest tools you can ever give to someone. And to yourself. Yeah, and give love. Yes, love. And set someone's heart free, you know? Amen. I mean, the same here. We have a lot of people in our lifetime who would have hurt us and stuff. And we hold on to that that hurt. I mean, it hurts not only ourselves, but we, we go around hurting others. Mm -hmm. And this continuous spiral of hurting so forgiveness definitely and love is is it's a heavenly plant it's a yeah. heavenly plant it's not something that is is is, is naturally within us we have yeah. to realize that we are loved of god and that because he has loved us loved us with this everlasting love we are able to impart it without limit as you say to yeah. others who are in our lives yeah God is good. And as we close this time. evening, yeah. And as we close this evening, um, just to recap, Renee, that uh, we're asking God for the wisdom to give. And basically, um, the wisdom to give is not only money, time, or resources, or talent, but the wisdom to give anything that makes you humanity yes. better. Yes. yes. Anything that makes humanity better, it is a good thing. And anything that makes the church better is a good thing. And anything that makes us as Christians live an exemplary life so that people can see the God in us, we are giving hope to someone who might be in a, in a state of misery. So the wisdom to give is, is a wonderful gift. And we just have to ask God to keep pouring it in us. Because sometimes it's not just, it's not a big thing. Sometimes it's a small thing. The little tiny thing that makes the world go big, you know, and so God wants us to forgive. Welcome, Sister Donna. You're uh, you you sign in at the end of the um, the discussion here, but we were talking about the wisdom to give, and we have discussed a lot of areas in which we can give not only money, not only time, not only talent, but we can give our um, forgiveness to people, and we can give hope. Hope for God commands us. Is there any other thoughts before we close this evening about giving? Well, Renee, I could ask you to close off then if you'd like. Sure, let us pray. Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity to meet with this fashion to discuss how we're able to impart your blessings that you have showered down into our hearts to others. Father, I pray that you forgive us um, where we have fallen short of your glory and we ask that you will help us, dear Lord, to let our, sh our light so shine before men that they will see our good works and they will come to glorify you. 
um, our Father who is in heaven. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for being with us this evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. As usual, thank you all for joining with us, and we pray that God will continue to empower you to give in your own.